Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwis and this is our seventh video in C++ programming language. So in this video we're going to talk about the different types of loops in C++ programming language. So basically in this video we are going to talk about the for loop, uh, while loop and also do while loop. And also we'll talk about the control statements in, in the loops of C++ programming language. Now, there may be a situation when you need to execute block of code several number of times. Now, uh, using of the loops, you can do these kind of functionalities. A loop statement allows us to execute a statement or a group of statements multiple times. And uh, there are different types of uh, loops that we can use in C++. For example, we have a uh, for loop, while loop, and also do while loop. Also, there are different control statements like uh, uh, break and continue statement in C++ that we can use inside a loop. So using these kind of control statements, we can change the execution of loop from its normal sequence. So now let's just, uh, we are going to just start our coding and we are going to start from the first loop that's called for loop. So now let me just show you uh, the example. For example, I'm going to just create int i uh, to 1. Let me first write the code and after that I will describe. So i is less than 10 and i plus plus. And I'm going to just say c out c out and value of a value of i is and i can print the value okay now if you see in this example this is the for loop syntax now this in here we are seeing that int i is one this is the initial step of the loop and this step will be executed first and it will be only once so this is the first step that we are that the while loop that the for loop uh, will be started after that we have this is the condition we are going to check that if our i is less than the 10 now uh, this is the condition for the loop if this condition is true the body of the loop will be executed so if this is true the body of the loop will be executed if it become false the body of the loop will not be executed and the flow control jumps to the next statement and this is the increment we need to increment the volume of this i till the uh, till this is true and when it became false we are not going to increment the volume so now if I run this let me just run the code okay now you can see that I am receiving the volume from 1 up to 9 now let me just do this like this and now if I run this you will see that I am receiving the volumes from 1 up to 10 you can see now because in here we are saying that if this condition is true we are going to increment the i value and we are going to print the i value in here now if the condition become false for example now in here i have end one now if i make this to 15 now this is the place that the condition become false now let me just add in here c out out of the loop like this let me just say like this uh, okay now in this case you can see we have int i to 15 and now the condition is the condition is false now if I run this you will see that it will not execute this code the block of code but it will execute this it will become out of loop you can see that we are out of the loop so like this you can use C, uh, for loop in C++ programming language. Okay guys, now we are going to talk about the while loop. So, it is the simplest type of loop in C++ programming language. Now, it will repeat statement while expression is true. 
and if the expression is no longer tr true the loop ends and the program continues after the loop so now let me just create a simple example it's so easy so for example I have an a and I'm going to make it to 10 and in here I'm going to just create a while so now in here I'm going to this is the uh, expression to evaluate for example I'm going to say if my a is uh, uh, less than 30 so if this is the uh, if this is the case I'm going to just see out uh, the value of uh, a is and let me just print the value of a in here and also I need to increment my a value and you can see that in here if I run this so let me just run this and after that I will explain the code so now you can see that I'm receiving the number from 10 up to 29 now in here first I have created an int variable after that I'm going to check that if this condition is true if the condition is true I'm going to execute this code execute this code now if the condition become false for example if it become false I don't want to execute this code will not be executed now if I run this you can see that I am not receiving because in here the condition is false now like this you can use a while loop and it's so easy and simple okay now we are going to uh, talk about the do while loop so do while loop is uh, uh, like uh, for loop and also while loop but with the, with the change the do while loop test the condition at the bottom of the loop and do while loop is guaranteed to execute at least one time now in for loop and while loop the condition is tested at the top of the code but in the uh, in do while loop it is done at the bottom of the code so now let me just show you the practical example for example I have int a I'm going to just make it to 1 and I'm going to say do so let me just do now in here first we are going to just execute our code or execute our statement for example I'm going to just say value of a is and uh, uh, I can uh, print uh, the value of a in here and after that any also you need to increment the value of a so a plus plus now after this in at the bottom I'm going to check the condition so do and I'm going to say uh, for example while and in here you need to check the condition I'm going to say that if a is less than 10 now it means that it will the do while loop execute if the condition become false do while loop will be executed at least once at least once it will be executed now if I run this you can see that I am receiving one up to nine now you can see in here first I have uh, executed this code and after that I have checked the condition that if this is the case now if I change if uh, now in this case my condition is true but if my condition become false let me just uh, for example uh, make it uh, uh, to 15 now if I run this now you can see that our do while loop is executed just once and we have received 15 in the case that our uh, um, condition become false so like this you can use uh, uh, do while loop in C++ programming language okay now we're going to talk about the using of break and also continuous statement in a loop so when we use break statement in a loop the loop is immediately terminated and program control resumes the next statement so now let me just show you an uh, example 
For example, let me just show you in the for loop. So I have int i and I'm going to int i to 1 and i is less than 10 uh, or just make it 20 and i plus plus. Okay, so okay, now in here I'm going to just see out of uh, value of i is uh, i and let me just end line okay now in here I'm going to say that if my i is uh, 12 uh, I'm going to just break my loop or break my statement okay so now if I run this uh, let me just uh, run this So I have error in my code. Let me just check all oh, in the errors in here. Okay, now let me just run it again. Okay, uh, now you can see that uh, I'm receiving one up to twelve because even though I have uh, the condition that uh, i is uh, twenty. Now let me just first remove this and you will see that I am receiving 1 up to uh, 19. So let me just run it. Okay, now you can see I am receiving 1 up to 19. Now if I say this and uh, using this I can break this. So now if you see I am receiving if you run this right now, I, you will see that I'm receiving 1 up to 12. So uh, this was using a for loop. Also, you can uh, uh, use break statement in, uh, uh, for example, in a, in a while loop, uh, in do while loop. So now let me just show you the example of that. For example, I have int a21. And first, let me just create do. I'm going to just say c out value of a and I can say a and let me just end line and uh, a plus plus now let me just say while and in here I'm going to uh, check the condition so uh, I'm going to say if a is uh, greater than 20 okay so now if I run this uh, let me just run this you will see that I'm receiving 1 up to uh, 19 so like this okay now I'm going to use a break statement in here uh, so in here I'm going to say if my uh, a is greater than 10 I'm going to break my loop or break my statement like this and let me just say C out and let me just write something like breaking the loop and end line okay so now if I run this uh, let me just run this you will see that I am receiving 1 uh, up to uh, 9 at 10 so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 because in here I have break the loop so like this you can use a uh, break in a loop okay now let me just uh, create an example of uh, continue statement now uh, uh, continue statement works like a break statement but instead of terminating the loop it continues to the next iteration of the loop and skip any code that is in between so now let me just show you that uh, what I mean let me just remove uh, this code from here okay now uh, in here let me just uh, create a do while loop so for example do and in here I'm going to check so if my a is uh, 10 I'm going to skip the iteration so first let me just increment uh, the value of a and I'm going to use continue uh, statement in here like this okay and uh, also in here uh, I'm going to just see out so see out 
value of a is and end line and we need to increment the value in here also after this I'm going to just uh, write my while uh, my condition and I'm going to say if my a is less than 20 so in here I first I'm going to uh, create a do while loop and I'm going to check that if a is 10 uh, I'm going to just skip the iteration uh, increment the volume and skip the iteration and after that I'm going to print the volume and this is the condition so now if I run this you will see that I will not receive the 10 volume here it will skip the 10 and it will continue the iteration so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and I'm not receiving 10 and it will skip the 10 and it continue the iteration of the loop up to 19 up to the condition become false so like this you can use break and continue statement in uh, in C++ uh, do while loop